You're watching Chewing the Cud with Paris Munro and Mike Fenyon Rowe. And it wasn't until I was halfway through the Ferrero Rocher that I realised I failed No Nut November. <laughs> okay. It wasn't that much, don't encourage me. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> welcome to Chewing the Cud, everybody. This week we are joined once again with Paris Munro. All the nuts. All the nuts. Paris Munro, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you doing well? I'm very good, thank you. Yes, I've had chest surgery, I've recovered, I'm here. And if I do this a lot, it's just because I'm getting used to my new yiddies. Okay, I have no excuse for when I just do that just randomly throughout the show, but that's, that's okay. But yeah, we can do it together. That's a different kind of show, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you got for us this week, Paris? Okay, so this week I'm bringing a story about Zach Efron's Mighty Thighs. If you're a big fan of the thighs, this is going to be for you. Nice. And on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The Cud.tv is our website. And on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of the people who have reached out and touched our souls on social media go along the screen at the bottom, we go to Mike and the buzz. Um, have you ever found anything large in your garden? In the garden? No. Oh, OK. No. Because um, this is a story about a man who's found something 18 inches in his garden and was not impressed. So this is something he didn't purchase no, it's at 18 inches, he just found? He found, yeah. Uh, what the hell is that, a tree? And wasn't impressed as well. So. Was it a girthy tree? Um, no, it was, it was a, a rat. A rat? A rat. Uh, how yes. big was this rat? Um, um, it was 18, 18 inches long. 18 inches? The size inches. of a child. Oh, God, OK. Yeah. Um, he basically opened up his back garden and went, oh, what's this thing over here? And it was a, a giant rat. I mean, if okay, so if you just picture this for a moment, if you're in your garden mm -hmm. and you see something moving around, you don't freak out. No, you go, oh, yeah, let's go and investigate. See this 13-inch rat 18. and go, 18-inch 18 18. rat. <laughs> Size matters, and be Paris. like, oh, yeah, let's just put it in a cage. Yeah. Where else would you put it? I mean, RSPCA or... <laughs> well, <laughs> what are they doing to this rat? Because... Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it, was under his bird feeder, so this 18-inch right. rat was nibbling on his nuts. OK. Um, no wonder which... he grew so big. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's caught over 50 rats in the past seven years in his garden. OK. Because he lives quite near some water. And like... So it's the water that mm -hmm. attracts the rats? The water and the food. And the, and the bird feed. Oh, uh... right, OK, interesting. I have never knew that rats could be the size of a child. No, neither did I. Neither did he. That's quite terrifying. It is. But also, if you think about it, it's, you know, cost of living crisis. Rat burgers, just saying. Mm. We've all eaten rat at some point. Yeah, on the barbecue <laughs> yeah. a bit, if you know marshmallow. Ooh, nice oh, nice no, and Oh, no, I'm just thinking when you go to those, those dodgy takeout vans. Oh, uh, yeah. Festival or something. It's We've like, all been there. We've... Yeah, and it's a pound. You go, what kind of meat is it? You go, it's meat. Bad guts the next day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Probably rat. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but moving on to something a little bit... Um, Less foodie. Okay. Okay. Um, do you know what a shrimp guy is? A shrimp. A shrimp guy. A shrimp guy. Yeah. A guy who likes to dress as a shrimp. That's, a, cho that's a choice. <laughs> Why did that go to you first? I mean, shrimp guy. Is it like a superhero? No, it's it's a dating term. A dating term. A dating term. So TikTok, the home of everybody's favourite dating. Um, shrimp guy has come up with a new a shrimp guy. Hey, did you hear about the story of Shrimp Guy? What? Tell me more. I'm so, really curious. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not pleasant. Oh, so is it like an insult? It's an insult. And basically, oh, it's because the way you eat a shrimp is to rip its head off and eat the tasty oh. bottom. Well, <laughs> OK. <Yeah. laughs> Doesn't sound bad to me. <laughs> Sounds like a very good day. <laughs> yeah, um, but it's about a man whose body is very attractive, but not the face. So what used to be oh, called so a butter what... face? Right. I I imagined it to be like very scary movie two esque where you put a paper bag over the head and just crack on. I think you could do that. that that's so that is what you call a shrimp head. Great body, not a good face. Yeah, which I used to call a butter face. Oh. So the yeah. next time I hear shrimp guy, I, I will now know. You will now Education. know. Education. 
It is. <laughs> <laughs> and it comes from TikTok, so you know it's it's going to be a- accurate. And... It's official. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was thinking about all the other things you could call people. Because mm. I used to have a, a Bob Fock, which is body of face, body of Baywatch, face of crime watch. Oh, I like that. Bob Fock, that's a... Okay. Um, but a face. But a face. Yeah, nice body, but a face. Um, are there any that you know of? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> but I really like shrimp guy. It's it's it sounds fun. <laughs> shrimp guy. <laughs> See, I, I first thought they were talking about simping. Oh, is that when you're like all like lovey dovey over someone but and you're a bit over the top? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shrimp, simp. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I can see where you're going. Uh, and, and I'd like to remind Chris Hemsworth that the tweets are still in his DMs. Waiting. Open um, your DMs, please. <laughs> please don't. We need report. to marry him off. <laughs> please don't report me again. <laughs> but that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Perfect. Now, if Lee was here, he'd be cringing at this point because this isn't edible. Oh. I don't mean edibles as in edible. I mean as in we're going to eat something. You can eat it. You can eat it. Perfect. And this is a story about our favourite chocolate in the world. What's your favourite chocolate in the world? Ah, oh, I have several. Dairy milk. Good. Um, I also really like Ferrero Rocher. Nice. I also really like Lint. Okay. Lint or <laughs> Expensive mm. taste there. Yes. I like it. Thank well, you. the good news is, because this is a story about Freddo's. <gasps> I love Freddo's. Right? It's like my childhood. It's, it's like a childhood. Only, um... So, the conversation is that Freddo's yes. tastes better than dairy milk. Right. Right. So... I need you to do a taste test. Oh you no! Try a friend and try Stop it. You're and feeding t- me chocolate now. Okay. And tell me right. which one you think's better. Well, it's either the long and thin one or the short and girthy one. So long and thin or chode. I like. Ooh. Oh, Oh, these are cold. I think the chode for me. Mm. Let me just go straight I've got, in there. I've got chode first. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a chode. Oh, he's happy. Oh. <laughs> he won't be in a minute. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that was a tough one. Yeah. Okay. I, know. Mm. I can tell there's a difference. Okay, let me open this uh, pencil bar over here. Mm. What's the difference? Can you not tell the difference? Yeah, do, do not taste different to you. Slightly. Slightly, okay. There's like so, a t- but I can't put my finger on it. Okay, so what this is, is basically a woman has turned around and said that the Freddos taste better because Freddos are made in um, Ireland and the dairy milk is made in um, Bourneville, which is in Birmingham. Okay. And apparently um, Mondelez changed the recipe in, in Bourneville, but not in Ireland. I heard so, about this. Right. So Cadbury's have come out about it and said no. It's not true. They're exactly the same recipe. Lies. Right? The difference is the milk. Because the milk in Ireland is slightly creamier because of what oh. they eat. They eat more grass and stuff. So they, it's the same recipe, but Freddo's tastes better because they've got more cream in them. That makes sense. Yes. That makes sense. Yes, yes. Now I can, yeah. Um, yeah. Now I can put my, now I need to have more of it to test that theory. That's okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but they also said it's because also, Freddos were very popular when people were children, right? And it's a whole like, a memory. So mm. it's the taste bringing back memories of childhood, which actually makes it feel a bit more like a rich chocolate. It does. It does feel like I'm going back to my inner child. I do miss those days. They're very not good. 10p anymore. Pound like for a pack of six. Pound. For Pound. A six. For a pack of six. I remember the day where they used to be 5p. Yeah. And you get a Taz as well. A Taz was 12p, but it had caramel in it. When I was younger, this is how much. <laughs> wow, God, they're ripping us off. <laughs> they're ripping you off. <laughs> they used to be five p. They used to be ten p, actually. Ten p. <laughs> Do something about it. <laughs> I was just stealing Freddos. So they're going. I stole two for ten p. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I thought that was that was really interesting and a great way of just eating chocolate on the show. I mean, I love a treat. I love a sweet treat and a little bit of education in a nice little bite size. Goes a long way. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's what we like, a little bit of nostalgia. That's true. Not as good as it used to be, though. <laughs> so, Calorie just probably in pain at that, that joke there. But, yes. <laughs> um, but thankfully, that's all from the buzz this week. Thanks for that, Mike. 
shrimp guys and chocolates, ripping your head off and getting to the bottom. That's what we love to hear. I always like it when people get to the bottom. But next we have Paris and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Paris and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Paris. Do you like sausage? And for you at home, do you like sausage? Do you like beef? I do like beef. I like sausage because sausage tends to be pork. Right. And I do enjoy pork. I do too. Reason why I talk about beef is because mm. Zac Efron is looking pretty beefy. Oh, good. I do um, like a bit of Zac Efron. He's gone like from high school musical mm -hmm. to wrestler. Oh. To daddy. Oh. To look at those gorgeous pecs on the screen. He's, you see, um, a little bit, yes, but also he looks a bit like Arnie Schwarzenegger. Yes, he does, actually, a little bit. Um, really loving bit that. that he's sporting the towel. Wish it was a little bit smaller. Wish it wasn't there. Not going to lie. Sure yeah. good. <laughs> um, but he's playing, a, he's playing Kevin Von Erich. Oh, easy for you to say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In the new movie, um, it's called Iron Claw. And this photo is of him walking about um, behind the scenes in Louisiana. Mm. Now, what do you think? Do you think, he's, do you think he's sporting, like, the wrestling bar? Do you think he could do more? Do you think he doesn't need to I, do much? I think he could do me, but... Um, so you, do you reckon? <laughs> I'm enjoying that picture of Zac Efron. Zac Efron. I might be here for a while. <laughs> if you are watching, please feel free to reach out at you in the Just, cut. Yeah. <laughs> Respond to the DMs. Yeah, he's, he's looking very different. Um, as you can see, um, he did. Re he had an accident previously as well. That's why he's had a lot of work done on his face. OK. Um, but have you noticed how he looks very, very different? He looks like a completely different person. He does. I'm, I'm not mad about it. Yeah. I mean, it's... it's I mean, there's a couple there. I mean, the more he's Zac Efron's, me <laughs> the better. Ooh. Yeah. It's a nice little belly button. I just want to tickle it, you know? Uh, moving on to redheads. Tickle, tickle belly button? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> I like a good tickle sometimes, don't you? On a treat, belly, just specifically on a belly Treat yourself, button. you know. <laughs> Dig out that little bit of fluff. <laughs> Mine's always clean. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Ed Sheeran, redhead, famous redhead, singer-songwriter. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he is a big fan of ketchup. He loves food. He loves music. Um, he's got his own place. He's got a, a bar in London. Actually. Has he really? Yeah, so he's a landlord as well. Oh. He wants to add another iron to the fire, which is pretty cool. OK. And he wants to do sunscreen for redheads. I'm interested in this because I'm up for, for anything that will save my, my fair, delicate skin. So for me personally, I'm quite fair skinned. However, my partner is a redhead mm. and can't be in the sun and they're basically a vampire. Yeah, so yeah. they can't be on the sun for very long. This is me with a deep tan. This. This is me with a deep Don't tan. you look great? I don't look <laughs> bronzed and oh. But yeah, he's saying basically like, I feel like I can literally put my face on anything and anyone will buy it. <laughs> 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 would you buy it? Oh. <laughs> would you buy his his face on a bottle of lotion? <laughs> would you use that lotion? Would, would I buy Ed Sheeran's lotion? <laughs> <laughs> Smearing it over my face. Oh, Ed Sheeran. Very niche. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. But I think that's pretty cool. It's quite fun. He wants to do something that is kind of like a joke, but not a joke, just in a like, fun way. Of, oh, so he's know. not releasing it? Well, he might, but he's, he's thinking about like... Oh, he's such a tease. I know, it's too much. I can't bear it. Give, give me more Zac Efron. Not Zac Efron, I'm still on that Do you know what? Picture. We can go, if you like, we can go back to Zac Efron. Um, <laughs> I'm still there. I've now got Ed Sheeran <laughs> and Zac Efron. Oh. I'm now applying the lotion to Zac Efron. What is that in his hand? Is that... <laughs> I don't think it's what I want it to be. Oh. I think one's a phone. Yeah, one is a phone, but... I one looks like a drink of water or something. I wish I was that bottle. Moving swiftly on <laughs> to... <laughs> yes, Why is he going to keep his bottle in his crotch? <laughs> <laughs> Feed me. So is he the only famous redhead that's released? Um, I think something he's... Something smear on your face? Sorry, I'm still looking I think there, he but... is the only person to come up with that concept. I mean, like, you have all these other artists and all these other creators that like, are like... Nick Hucknall? Simply oh. Red? Oh, Nicole Kidman. She yeah. a redhead? But I, I, I don't know if she's released anything that you want to smear on your face. 
Oh, no, it's Gwen with, with the that's, badge candles, isn't it? That's the one, yeah. <laughs> which I'm still yet I'm very curious about. Have you them. not smelt the badge candles? No. I've been a, I've been down a fair few of um, in my time, and, and, and it's not always been the best, but I wonder how do you put that in a candle? Uh, I think there's some utensils involved. I'm not 100% sure. Get the token based around. Yeah, lovely. But do you know what, actually? How, what do you think this Ed Sheeran lotion would smell like? A regret. Yeah. Um, would be my thing. Or, or stealing music. Oh, no. <laughs> we went there. <laughs> we did go there. Because, <laughs> of course, he hasn't been stealing music. That's been that's Shh, a joke. You didn't hear that from us. Yes. Um, <laughs> I just found not guilty of that. And yeah. But it's really good because um, it's factor 70. So 70. It's not like carrot oil because you'd die. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, factor 70. It's basically gloss paint. Basically, it is, yeah. It's yeah. released gloss paint for your skin. I had to use Factor 100 in America once because my skin literally couldn't handle it. <laughs> it was the it was in Disneyland. It was the heat on the floor and I was wearing shorts. The heat okay. from the floor was like burning my legs. It was so, so painful. Honest to God. It's kind of it's supposed to be the funnest place on earth. It, not, not well, torturous. not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Disneyland, I don't know what you're playing at. Um, but yeah, uh, make sure you slather up, rub it all over your face and stay safe. Sunscreen is important. I thought we were talking about something else then. I'll leave that to your imagination. Should we talk about Yasmin Finney? I was just leaving that to imagination. <laughs> yes, let's. <laughs> I'll just leave you there for a moment. You enjoy yourself. Um, Yasmin Finney, absolutely stunning, plays Elle in Heartstopper. Yes, absolutely beautiful. Uh, a, but she's, she's only 19. Can you believe it? Because that makes me feel old. Makes you feel old? Yeah. Yeah, I'm nearly. Oh, no. Nearly Never reveals yeah. a real age. Um, yeah, she's doing so well. She's done Heartstopper. Mm -hmm. She's now going into the Hooniverse <gasps> of Doctor Who. Now, I'm going to... Please don't kill me. Please don't judge me. I have never seen Doctor Who. I'm out. Oh. Um, All right, being shouted at by the gallery. All right, I'm back. No, listen. Okay, so Doctor Who, I have seen one tiny episode. Okay, so you have seen some. And that was when um, the mannequins came to life and that Ooh, freaked me out. that's early. That, yeah. That's, that's um, I used to have a fear of, Eccleston. I used to have a fear of mannequins. <laughs> so shopping was very difficult. Okay, sorry. So, <laughs> I don't want to mock your affliction there, but that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. No, I'm okay now. It's fine, you know, in the past. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's doing bits. She's not a mannequin, don't worry. Mm. Um... But, yeah, she's going to play a really important role in Doctor Who. Uh, she's playing a trans character as well, Good. which is absolutely fabulous to have that representation. And this is going to be... She is on the cover of Vogue as well. Um, oh, God, I just... I can't. She's Stop one, me. stunning. Two, so, so intelligent. Great yeah. actress. And just, Brilliant. like... she She's just, like, a triple, quadruple, six, super, walker walker threat. Indeed. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> words, words were created there. <laughs> you saw it here first. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> wooka, wooka, wooka. Absolutely stunning. Yes. Um, she's going to be doing a really powerful speech at uh, London Trans Plus Pride as nice. well, which is fabulous. But just, I mean, what an icon. What a wonderful, you know, m model to, to represent the, the community and also mm. someone to really look up to. Great. Absolutely stunning. Ah, oh, loving it. Yeah. Have you uh, seen it, by the way? Hmm? Have you seen uh, her in Heartstopper? Yes. Yeah. I watched Heartstopper pretty much as soon as it came out. Mm. Yeah. And Did you binge that? I binged it, and then I wiped the snot and tears away and oh. watched it again. Now, do you have the comics or the the graphic novels? Comic books. The books. You've got all the books. No. I do. I'm not going to spoil nothing. Okay. But season two is going to be really, really good. If you thought season one was good, this now, is going to be amazing. Is it going to be ugly cry like season one was? Because uh, I went through a lot of tissues and not in a good way. Okay. Get yourself some Kleenex. Okay. Uh, but get yourself some snacks as well because you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a really good one. Okay. Um, yeah. Tiny, tiny hint. Mm. France is involved. Oh. Um. And they're currently there... They're currently filming there in France at the moment. Oh, nice. Like they did, um, what's that other one? Sex Education. They did a France thing. Did they? Yeah. They went to France. Another one I have yet to see. God, I really do live under a rock. Not seen that one. No. 
Ooh. Is it anything like sex education at school, though? Because that was kind of dire. No, sex education is good. OK. Right? Um, they have some musical numbers in there as well. Oh, good. good. They have a choir that they could do. Oh. Um, and you know that um, song, <laughs> Pain Away? Um, no, but no. I, I need to listen to this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's from the <laughs> 90s. OK. And it's a rap and it's basically, um, it's just a lot of sex, but they sing that as a school choir, an assembly, to upset a teacher. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. it's really good. If you, wanna, if you want to annoy your teacher, just whack out them lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, got Julian Anson in it as well. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Um, Pretty big. And then the, the boys had been in something else and I can't remember what it was. Oh. Yeah, that's another good one. Okay. Um, but yeah, Heartstopper hit me. Oh, it's coming. It's it, coming hard. Oh, no. <laughs> Next year on your screen, folks. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know how I'll be able to cope with it. Honestly, would, it's a dream. Yeah, I have to, to like go and have a bath after watching something that hits you that hard. You will need to wash. In fact, jet wash. A but, jet wash. <laughs> yes, it's going to be very emotional. Okay. <laughs> Got to be clean. Yeah. But anyway, thanks for that, Paris. You're welcome. <laughs> and that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Oh, thanks for that, Paris. I shall be sure to make sure I've got Kleenex for the other hand. Coming up, we've got our game of the week. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Lazy Susan's Question Roulette. And this one is for our very own Starshine Paris. It's off your pop. Oh dear. Okay. Well, wish me luck. Hopefully I won't break anything. Try not to. Alright then. Oh, that'll break the light. There we go. Sorry. Game of the Week. Paris is going to spin the Lazy Susan, ask a question, and I'm going to try and get it right. <laughs> Are you ready, Paris? I'm ready to give this good old girl a spin. Let's go. Lazy Susan, here we go. OK. So. Music is the category for oh, you. No. You ready? Feel free to play along at home if you, uh, if you want. Question you do is, actually get people playing along on, on, on the show, you know. Do you actually? Yeah, when we, we put it out on, on YouTube, people actually try and guess the answers and stuff. Oh. And they show me up every time. Well, yeah. let's see if you can get this one. Yeah. Which ABBA song did Kylie Minogue perform at the closing ceremony of the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games and later on her world tour? <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> Someone asked to. Um, <laughs> Waterloo. How many guesses do, are we allowed to? Oh, well, no, you do Yes. Dancing Queen. Dancing Queen? ABBA, Dancing Queen, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was nice That's song, the one. wasn't it? OK, let's give her a spin again, then. OK. OK. I like the way you spin it like it's a record. In it? I feel very DJ-esque here. OK. Music. Again. <laughs> so it did so well the first time. I think time. you just love music so much. Yeah. Right, OK. Question yeah. is, what is the term for singing without any accompaniment? I was struggle with the word accompaniment. It <laughs> <laughs> was a definite, <laughs> I won that word. A compliment. Um, <laughs> it's also think? a Khalees song. A cappella. It is. You actually got that right. Well done. Yeah. Well, only because I remember the a Khalees song. Before you, the whole world was a cappella. Oh, yes, I do remember that, yeah. 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 You should be a DJ, you know. I really shouldn't. Because I sing along too much <laughs> and go, I'm bored of this song. Skip. <laughs> uh, culture. Oh, okay. I've, I've got culture. The Are you well me, cultured? Well, the doctors give me tablets to get rid of the cultures that I've grown, but... Well, as long as they're paying rent, that's all that matters. OK. Uh, what are the three primary colours of light? Red, blue and white. No. It's red, blue and green, but close, but no cigar. Well done. But you there. get green from yellow and blue. That's true. Yeah, but it, yeah, they, they're not the primary colours. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would be All right, Lazy Susan, let's go. Oh, I think music is playing in your favour here. Oh, OK. <laughs> right. Elephunk and monkey business. You just call me. <laughs> <laughs> Elephunk and Monkey Business are hit albums by which hip-hop band? 
Hip hop. Yes. Ellie Funk. That, is that not the thing where you got the, the numbered squares on the ground and you have to jump and... What? <laughs> that's hopscotch. <laughs> that is definitely... Yeah, that's... Not hip hop, hopscotch. It is hopscotch, um, not, not this, though. <laughs> um, oh, it's the one with the, the, the question marks and the graffiti. And Fergie, and dousing herself with wine. This guy's fat, she's wet herself. What are they called? What's the band, though? Oh, it's got that one with the, the thing and the thing and the thing and the one with the hair. Yes. Yeah, that one. I mean, I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. You said, <laughs> Fer <laughs> you said Fergie, so I know who you're on about. Black Eyed Peas, well, that, That's the one, Black the Eyed Peas. The thing and the thing and the thing. The thing and the thing and the one with the hair. You know right. what I'm talking about with the hair. <laughs> OK, spinning it one more time. Let's go. Boom. Oh, yes. Music again. Did you just go, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Which band's first album was entitled The Piper at the Gates of Dawn? Who's Dawn and why are we at our gates? To be honest, I don't think I would have got this one. Um, <laughs> it's a good look to you. Led Zeppelin. Uh, no, well, it's Pink Floyd. They're the same band. They're all the same. God, you sound old, don't you? Oh, it's all the same. <laughs> <laughs> they were out before I was born, all right. <laughs> movies. Oh, movies. Oh. <laughs> we're doing movies this time. Was there, was there some interference there? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, which actor is in The Phantom of the Opera Timeline and Reign of Fire? Which actor is in The Phantom of the Opera Timeline and Reign of Fire. He's hot. No, you don't know? When you're saying hot, describe is, hot. Um, daddy beard. Really good looking. Me? He could potentially be a really good Bond. Me? It is you, yes! <laughs> well done! <laughs> well, you said daddy vibe, beard, it could be a really Serving good Bond. Daddy I'd vibe. be an amazing James Bond. You'd be very right. fun to watch as yeah. a Bond. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go off and, and like stop these terrorists. No, we're not. We're going to help. <laughs> You'd just be like, oh, hi. <laughs> 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 right. Her Majesty's Secret Service is... Sorry, it's Her Majesty's Secret Service. It's like... Um, do thought. you give up or do you want to um, tell me who do you think I'm is? going to guess at Idris Elba. Oh, that's a good one. I was thinking more Gerard Butler. Oh, I don't think I find him attractive. Oh. Do I find Gerard Butler? Find listen, Gerard Butler? listen, I'm not hating on your taste, OK? Is it how I... I was, <laughs> I've got a ball in taste in men. That's my exes. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's start with the next one. Anyway, what are you hoping for, by the way? Music, movies or culture? Um, any? Any? God, you're any. not fussy at all, are I, you? I'm, I'm very easy. Well, I'm glad you said it. Which is something I've written <laughs> on the toilet walls. <laughs> Music. Music. Oh, if you don't get this, I'm taking your gay card from you, OK? Oh, it's already been taken. OK. <laughs> Which singer plays a character similar to Diana Ross in the 2007 film Dreamgirls? Oh, it's what's the face? And it's not Susan Boyle. Oh. Oh, it's uh, what's from X Factor got the the plus factor American Idol thing. <laughs> she was in Sex in the City. <laughs> what? The, the password's love. I say that. Just... What's her name? I'm so conf. I'm oh. Saying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which singer plays a character similar to Diana Ross in the 2000 and film uh, Dream Girls? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm just. She was in Sex in the City as well, and she did the password was love. Meet me in St. Louis, and she was um, in X Factor or Pop Idol America, something like that. And she she sings and she does. She spins around on a chair. She does that judges thing. And um, Jennifer Hudson. No. It's <laughs> Beyonce Knowles, come on. Beyonce. Why was it Beyonce? Well, it was. She was in it. <laughs> yeah, but, That's the answer. But the, the Jennifer Hudson Why was it was, Beyonce? Jennifer Hudson's character was much more like Diana Ross, because <laughs> she could sing really well. I mean, good guess. And she did the belting out of songs, where Beyonce's more of a, a, a singer-singer. 
Yeah. But Jennifer Hudson's a belting singer like Diana Ross. Yeah. She loves a good belt. Yeah. Well, never mind. At least you tried. Let's go for a, another spin. Do I keep my gay card? Yeah, I'll let, do you know what? I'll let you keep it. Why not? Okay, thanks. Yeah. As long as you let me keep mine for Gerald Butler, I'll let you keep yours. Oh, I, I don't judge your choice. Okay. I just don't think I find them attractive at all. Oh, okay. Unless it's the one I'm not thinking of. Right, music. Okay. Who did John Lennon marry in 1969? My favourite name of anybody ever. Yoko. Oh, no! Yes, yes, yes. I love her singing. Um, she did a rendition of <laughs> Katy Perry really? Firework. No, no word of a lie, if you haven't seen it, go and watch on YouTube Yoko Ono's rendition of Katy Perry Firework. She did this in a museum. People were filming her and she was going, ah, 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 ah. Go and watch it. I just, yeah. Go and she watch it. It sounded like she was doing something inappropriate. And people were like, wow. Yeah, no, that's, wow, music, that's amazing. Apparently. They're going, wow. It's another, <laughs> it's another, is there time for another? Uh, it's our last one now. Right, last one, here we go. God, the suspense. Music, this seems to be a popular one today. It's almost like it's weighted towards music. I know, right? Um, okay, what was the name of the Beach Boys debut album released in 1967? Surf's up. You're halfway there. Surf time. Surfing USA. Do you want to have another guess? <laughs> Surfing boys, surfing, bird is the word. I don't, I've lost now. Okay, well, it's surfing safari. Surfing safari. So we'll that's... give you half a point, because you were halfway there. That's very, ge very <laughs> generous. <laughs> Normally I get abuse and no, that's wrong. You're thick, you're stupid. Listen, but... it's all about positive reinforcement and positivity here. I'm doing all therapy I've had now, but. Um, well, after this break, it's time to get our craft on. Crafty Queens and Paris. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to see what he's going to bring us compared to Lee's usual detritus, as it's Paris in Crafty Queens. Do you like birds, Mike? Um, I, I like a bird, um, but I'd only fly away. Like <laughs> Nelly Furtado, here we come. Um, okay, today for Crafty Queens, we're going to try to attempt to make a origami crane. Well, I love the way that you read what we're going to make, like, <laughs> not prepare this at all. <laughs> How much preparation has gone into this? Um, I looked at the link, uh -huh. uh, saw it was some kind of origami thing and thought, oh, that's fun. Didn't realise I'd be the one doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the same about that Lee normally puts in, so that's good. Okay, so what you need is a square piece of paper in front of you. Is that something that you have to hand, Mike? I have I have a somewhat square. Okay, so uh, do it so that the point's at the top and the point's at the bottom. Okay. And Enjoy I point. want you to bring that point to the other point. That point to the other point. Yes. Actually, no, I've done it all wrong. Okay. Um, so <laughs> First fold, we've done wrong. <laughs> do you know what? I just want you to fold it in half and fold it again so that it looks like there's squares. Does that make sense? I'm going to say yes. Yes. So have, have, have the uh, there. Have the paper like this. Uh huh. Fold it in half. Oh right, along the lengthways and the lengthways. Lengthways. And then fold it again in half. Okay. So into quarters. Into quarters. There we go. English. There we go. And then open that up so it's like that. Okay. Now what you want to do is... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me. Um, oh, this is actually harder than it looks. There's too many creases. Right, okay. Jesus Christ. Right, so have it like this. Okay. So the points at the top and points at the bottom. Uh-huh. Um, and I want you to hold the left point and the right point, okay? As you're going to fold it towards you, uh -huh. you're also going to bring these points together like that, right? Okay. So it's very much like... Oh no. Oh no. And do they need to be folded? And this is what I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I think Mike, this is this is actually trickier than than you think. This is like a three out of ten tricky. To me, this is a ten out of ten tricky. 
So, 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 uh, on a sec, so I need to do this. Is this what we're doing? Let me see yours. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Let's see. <laughs> so we're we doing that. <laughs> uh, no, not really. Oh my god! You know, I'm the worst teacher ever. Here, here, listen, have you got another cheat hand? I've got some more paper. It's fine. I'm not going to be a very good substitute cheater. I realise that that is a career I cannot go down. But do you know what? At least we're trying. <laughs> yeah, Lee, you're safe. It's all good. Okay, now I know what I'm doing now. Okay, good. Get the points left to right in your hand like this. My tearing ability is not great. Oh, I'm not even at a square yet. Are you not? Okay, well, well, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait for you. No, oh, no, just keep going. I'll, I'll, I'll catch Are up. you sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm really struggling with this, you know. This What's the worst difficult. that could happen? Okay. So you want the point on the left and the right, and you want to fold it in half. Okay. Okay. So what you've got is you'll have like your little quarters, but then they'll have heart, like lines in the middle of it. Does that make sense? Like this. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm, fold I'm folding into the points as well. Okay, perfect. And then yeah, okay. we do the other side as well. Okay. We look, look, we're getting somewhere now. I can read instructions. <laughs> and it should look somewhat like, uh, like this. That's what I've got. Let me see. Yay. Yay! Oh my God, we're doing it. Right, okay. So now we want to put it into a square. So if you fold it like this for me, okay. now we've got all of our creases there. Uh huh. And then fold that again into a. Oh, oh we've got a thigh. <laughs> wow, wow. There we go. Wow, wow. There we go. So you want it like this, yeah? Uh huh. So I've got that, yeah? Uh, you want to. You, right. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay. That's okay. exactly what we want. Okay. Good. So now what we want to do is we want. Uh, Fold top triangular flaps into the center and mm. unfold. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this part here, at the very top, you yeah. want to fold that down. Is that the open bit or the closed bit? Do you know what? I didn't even think of that. Uh, you want the, op the open bit. Open bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you want to fold that down like this. Uh-huh. Oh, this is horrendous. Please don't get me to do this again. Um, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, um, so now that we've done that, yep. the, unfold it again. There's just so much going on. This Let's bird's fold killing me. Fold it. Can I just put this thing on as Superman? Um, right, okay, so now I want you to have it like, like this. Okay. Okay. And then you're going to get the corner bit. Uh huh. And then you're going to drag it into the corner. <laughs> Drag it to the bottom. Um, now, this is it's supposed to look like an origami. <laughs> it's supposed to look like an origami crane, and what we have right now is this. <laughs> I think that's the last of the folds. Um, there's loads more folds. Do you know what? It's very much like a lady gardener. There's so many folds, so many I, things I, to I've turn, it, so but... many things, so many directions. My God. This is actually quite scary. Um, okay. Mike, does this look anything like a paper crane to you? Um, it, the, yes. Just look. How the hell have you done that? How have you done it better than me? I've just followed your, I've followed <laughs> your directions. Do you know what? I've followed your directions. Do you know what we should try and do? We should try and swap seats and see how well you can instruct me how to do it. Oh, no, I'd be shite. <laughs> have you seen what I've made? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you just you, you just need to put Wait, I need to make the definite. wait so that's all. Wait, go on. So where you've got your folds there. See, this is Mike knows what he's doing. Where you've got your fold there and you've got like a little bit. You just need to make it a more definite fold. More definite fold. Yeah. That's it. There yeah. you are. <laughs> that's all mine is. Right. So this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I made earlier. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, that, that yeah, works. I don't think there's any recovering from this, to be honest, Mike. It's I've, um, I've, it's uh, it's certainly you, something. You can't give up. You can't, can't what? You can't go this far and not go further. Well, I mean, I can. That's, that's fully technique. I can really give it a go if you yeah, want. What, okay. What's the next step? We've got we've got that fold. Okay. So ah, I feel like the wings are coming in now. 
Right. Okay. So you have to bring this bit to this bit, fold that in. Okay. Think of like a, a, a is it a pterodactyl? <laughs> I've got the, the dinosaur. Head, so then you open the flaps. Yeah. You, put, <laughs> you get this bit. <laughs> you get the head and you lift the head like that, right? Uh huh. And then you bring the wings up a bit. Holding shit now. I mean, it's somewhat. It's nearly there. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Listen, I'm look, I'm not an art student. <laughs> but Do you know what it reminds me? Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you remember you had those things that you did when you hand as a kid? And you're like, yeah, yeah. will I marry, blah, blah, blah. And then you open the flap. <laughs> it says, no, Listen, you're going to die alone with 100 cats. I think that's pretty much going to be me, Mike, to be honest with you. Oh, um, oh it's OK. I don't mind. I've kind of lived with that idea for a very long time. Do, do you know what? Do you think I should try and do it again? But, I was gonna say, <laughs> I, you see, I've got a bit off piste. I kept folding. And so now I have some sort of... Right. So what is your creation? It looks like a stingray. That's what it is. It's a stingray. It's off to kill Steve Irwin. Good. Oh, Bindi, hope you're not watching. <laughs> Bindi won't be watching this. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, that's why I can't go in the sea. Terrified what? of the sea. You're terrified of the sea because of Steve Irwin? Well, stingrays live there, right? Yeah. He, you know he was being a knob, right? He was swimming over a stingray, which is something you're never supposed to do. Well, yeah, but like, why did he do that? For the clout. He used to put his, his face in front of alligators going, oh, well, it might bite my head silly off. sausage. Silly. I would love to be able to hold alligators and snakes and stingrays, but I just can't. It's not in my blood. It's not in my yeah. blood at all. No. Yeah. No. I, ha I have stroked a starfish once. Well, if you can't get any peen or vagine, then you can be a crafty queen. This is kind of bird-esque. <laughs> is it, though? No, because it's got wings. It's okay. got a, a, a necky thing. Yes. Last week. That's I've good. got... Wow. Gaping more. That's quite a big one, that. It's, 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 you've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I think that's, that's probably the most successful Crafty Queens we've ever had. I don't think I'm going to give up my day job, though, to be fair. Really? Uh, is that going to be coming an origamist? Origamist, is that a word? I mean, is, is this a sport? No, it, it's... Uh, I was never good at that, anyway. No, it's not a sport. It's, oh, OK. It's a, it's a, so what's it called? It's, a, it's an art. That's almost the end of the show. Remember to join us on our social media accounts. That's at the Cud TV. Our website is Cud TV. And, of course, on YouTube and podcasts as well. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. I can make a snowball too. That I can make. Make a snowball. Whoa! Oh, my God. <laughs> that balls fly at your face. <laughs> <laughs> All the balls.